scroll my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And for a discount on your coins, use Nepo at checkout. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome to the ultimate team. That's right, guys. Every now and then, I find a team that I feel and believe is like the best team that you can play with and the best team that I think you guys are going to enjoy seeing me play with. Um, and as you can probably see from behind the camera here, there's a few blue cards in there. Uh, before we get into this video, if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. And um, there, this, this ultimate team may change. Like, I've been through varying different stages of love through FIFA, through just not just the years, but also FIFA 15. And in another month's time, another two weeks' time, I may have found and tinkered a little bit more and found an even better ultimate team but guys what i want you guys to do is for the best team in fifa i don't know if you guys remember that series i haven't done it for the last few weeks because of team of the year etc etc i'm going to be bringing that back so i want you guys to link me on twitter.com slash nepenthes your guys ultimate team so i can start putting to together some squad builders for the best team in fifa so let's take a look at the team Okay, guys, so this is the team. We've got 99 Ronaldo and 98 Messi up front. Iniesta at Cam, Kroos at CDM, Robin at right mid, uh, Griezmann at left mid, uh, Sergio Ramos, Boateng, Philipp Lahm, Jordi Alba, and Manuel Neuer. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have actually seen me the other day just uh, having a little bit of a moan on, on Twitter about some of the players and some of the team of the years. Like, I've played with full, te full team of the year teams, I've played with high rated team of the year teams, and I've played with full legend teams. And the legend team kind of smashes the team of the year team. But I've tinkered around quite a bit. Um, funnily enough, putting Griezmann in at left mid changed the way this team played. And I don't know why. I don't know what it did. But um, as you will see here, I've played 12 games with him. He's done nothing. Literally nothing. No goals, no assists. But for some reason, he fits into the team in a way that allows the, the rest of the team to play so well. I've tried having um, Neymar at left mid. I've tried having Jesse Rodriguez at left mid. I've tried playing different formations, 4-3-2-1, the 4-3-3. Um, but I keep coming back to the 4-1-2-1-2 and I just couldn't find the perfect left mid for me until I put Griezmann in here. And hopefully if he gets an upgraded card that's a left mid instead of a striker, we might be putting an 83 or 84 rated Griezmann in there. I did try Pedro for a couple of games as well. I didn't really like him. And uh, then also, we're taking out Jordi Alba for Marcelo. Once again, I much prefer him. So the, the team itself is absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, the only players that aren't on perfect chem is Ronaldo on 7 chem, but what difference does it make? And Robben on 8 chem, and that's still phenomenal, uh, especially considering how good his card is. A lot of people question my inclusion of Kroos at CDM. I personally really like him. He's got 78 physical, and even though he only has 68 defending, his standing tackle, which is important for a CDM, is very, very nice. And he has medium, medium work rate. So, you know, he, he's a he's a really decent player in that CDM spot. Not the best. I would prefer Alarm there. But if I have to put Alarm in there, then uh, it just it messes up the rest of the team where Iniesta doesn't get 8 cam. And, and I've, I've played a lot of games, as you can see. I've played, what, 39 games with Kroos. Most of them at CDM. And I really, really like it. But let's get into some gameplay, guys, and talk about this team a little bit more. Actually, before we get into the gameplay... Let me show you guys the goals. So here you have it. You can see my record in the top left there as well. 35, 6 and 5. Pretty decent record. Um, not, not the best, but pretty decent. I have only played divisions. And we've got Messi there with 49 in 39. Ronaldo with just 36 and 39. And that's because I have played him at left mid. I have played him at left wing. And I have played him at left forward. He hasn't been a striker the whole time. Uh, Robin with 18 in 39. And Di Maria with 8. He comes on as a substitute a fair bit. Just for Iniesta at half time and such. Which is why Iniesta stats are very, very bad. But there you have it. The, the stats are pretty good for these guys. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm playing in division. So it's good. it gets harder. And when you've got a team like this as well, um, people rage quit really, really quick. Like if I go 1-0 or sometimes 2-0, it's a rage quit. It's a rage quit. So it doesn't really allow me to pad the stats too much. But let's get into the gameplay, guys. Show you some of the goals from these teams. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So guys, as we go into the gameplay, just going to show you some of the goals that I scored. Unfortunately, through all the games that I've actually played with this team, I haven't scored many outstanding goals. And the, the main reason for that is every team that I come up against, I'm at, I think I'm in Division 3 now on this account. Because I, I made a new account because I got hacked uh, you know, a few weeks ago. But um, I, I'm making my way up through the divisions. Every team I come up against just plays either defensive, ultra-defensive, or part of the bus. And I understand why, because you see this team, you think, holy crap, like, this is going to be a hell of a game. Um, but it just makes 
it like it gives you such an inability to play the game in a fun manner. Like I understand people want to win. I'm not I'm not hating on people for playing part of the bus or ultra defensive. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It just changes the way that you have to play when you're the offensive team. You know, you don't get the opportunity to try skill moves. There's no nice free flowing passing moves that could be made. You know, you can't really break through a midfield and then do a couple of skill moves past defenders because the the defense is sat so deep, the midfield is sat so deep that it really just limits your ability to play the game so that was always frustrating but I did still manage to score a lot of goals and what I do love about this team is they do the simple things so well the passing is really nice the shooting is really clean really crisp you know there's not many options not many opportunities where I miss chances that you would expect these players to score Funnily enough, I actually found Messi to be better than uh, better than Ronaldo in this game. I thought Ronaldo would be the the business. I thought he would be the absolute difference. And in a different team that I've been playing in, him in recently, he's unbelievable. But in this team, Messi outshines him like you wouldn't believe. I just don't understand why. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's positioning. Maybe it's work rates. Maybe there's some... Uh, specialities or something that they've got you know maybe some traits that Messi has that Ronaldo doesn't that causes him to to, to do better but I found that Messi was a, a little bit better than a 99 Ronaldo uh, in this team in this team um, other than that the team it plays really nice like I said you, you come up against people that just play super defensive I don't know if that's necessarily a against this team thing or if that's a high division thing anyway because I know once I was in division two and division one on my very first account in FIFA 15 um, I only had a regular team and I, everyone I came up against then was playing defensive. You know, I think that's just the way of division. So once I do get into and win division one, I will be going into cups. Should allow for a bit more free-flowing football, a bit more fun. And uh, this team, is it's fun to play with, don't get me wrong. But it's more fun because of the amount of rage it causes through people. If anyone scores a goal against me, they give me the celebrations, the shushes, the can you hear me. They send me messages. You hear people raging and uh, being elated over the, uh, over the mic on the, the Xbox Connect. And it, th this team just brings out the emotions in people. It's quite funny. Like uh, If I came up against this team, I'd probably be happy I'm coming up against this team because this is the sort of team that I think I would destroy because of handicap or if you don't believe handicap exists, this is the sort of team usually people have because they buy it and not because they're good at FIFA and have earned it. But fortunately, I'm a little bit of both. I'm, I'm okay at FIFA and uh, you know I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have this team as well which makes people get so, so mad which is always fun. But anyway, guys, don't forget to link me your best teams for the best team in FIFA coming up. Drop a thumbs up on the video. I'd be much appreciated. It. Thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.